Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. And in this video, we will be taking a look at Holochain. I want to do a bit of a price analysis for you, sort of give you an up-to-date like price prediction thing as to where I think it can go, and maybe look at a bit of the news and stuff what's happening with Holochain. If this sounds interesting to you, please drop that like, give me a subscribe if you're new watching. And before I dive into this, I need to let you know I'm not a financial advisor. These are just my own personal opinions on the market, so please always do your own research before investing any money. Further research. Anyway, let's do this, because right now, it's sitting under a penny again. Now, I, I like Holochain. I've liked it for a while and you know I wish I was paying more attention to it back right here 2018 when I you know first saw this actual project and you know because it was cheap super super cheap <laughs> I mean it's still relatively cheap now if you ask me because I believe it can go higher highs but you know everybody would love to get in early a bit like the dogecoin you know you wish you got in early uh, yeah let's just take a look at some stuff that's been happening with holochain because you know they're looking to implement sharding now this is a big step for holochain because you know sharding will really help the scalability side of things of the blockchain because you know think of bitcoin bitcoin has just like a one line <laughs> where transactions are done all on that blockchain and you know sometimes it slows down because there's so much transactions going on on just the one chain right but because they don't have meaning blockchain uh, bitcoin doesn't have this sharding implementation it doesn't allow them to do what they call uh parallel transactions it's like taking loads of parallel transactions at the same time that makes it more scalable and pushes transactions uh, through fast and things like that that's what holy chain is looking to do similar to harmony similar to zilliqa and it's a big thing and i think that sharding is going to be a big thing in the future and to be honest i think every sort of blockchain should have this now this should be like the standard but yeah big up to them for doing that or working on that i think that's big news obviously back in march they spoke about the innovation of this here the the uh, shared secure data they got a patent approved for it which was big news in my eyes you know to get because for me <laughs> same like with the vra right the veracity if you're getting patents for these certain things that means no one else can touch this unless they ask you first you know <laughs> you want some of my chicken <laughs> you'll take chicken off my plate you better ask me first you know because that's my chicken <laughs> i can't what am i laughing for i can't help it so that's a bit of the news that i've been watching on the you know holo chain side of things i like it i like what i'm seeing and yeah obviously keeping up to date on it uh, but let's just take a look at the price because you know some people want to know where it's going i'm going to show you this chart here um so try and make it super clean super simple so you understand right because there's new people that look at the these sort of charts and they be like well what's this what's that i'm panicking i don't know what to do <laughs> I, I gotta stop <laughs> so I have two moving averages. One is the 21... Oh, sorry. This is the 50-day. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I like to switch it up, you know. I usually show the 21-day. Actually, to be fair, I could show the 21-day. This is the 50-day because I was looking for, like, the next support levels as to where it would go since it broke the 21-day. Let me just quickly show you what the 21-day would look like. Uh, so the 21-day is here. Actually, that's not bad. We can use that. And I'm using the 200-day because, for me... The 200 day is going to be really significant as to, you know, how serious this price is going to go, where it's going to uh, rise and fall. And you can see it broke below it and then it came back above it and it's been holding support on the 200 day. Uh, you know, the 21 day, as you, you know, if you see my channel, you understand it. Uh, but for those of you who are watching, it's such a powerful uh, moving average. Most people use either the 21 day or the 20 day. And as you can see here, every time, uh, you know, holo chains come above, it's been bouncing along it and held it as well usually as support and it rides it like a wave all the way up and that's what we see uh, saw through this you know entire bull run and same usually works if it's underneath it holds resistance or holds resistance and uh, if it breaks it you know it's, it finds it hard to resist to get back above and as you can see here it was resisting for the longest time and we're now facing a situation with a uh, holo chain where you know if it breaks above this yellow line the 21 day moving average as you can tell this is the daily chart it's got the 1d here and you can see it over here you can select the time frame that you uh, the time zone that you want off frame if it breaks above this and holds a new candle above it and i'm on about candles like this let it breaks you know you can see it's and let's find the break here if it breaks above it like this right here like this and then it prints a new candle above it i expect it to ride this yellow line like a wave and just ride above it like what we saw before and I'm going to show you what kind of high prices I believe it can hit in a second. Um, but yeah, I just wanted you to understand that. 
if it falls below this 200 week you know we could see prices <laughs> tumble down i gotta let you know but um i'm gonna show you some support level uh, levels in a second with the fibonacci um i just want to show you this as well um here we go because i've been looking at the stochastic rsi on holochain and this is obviously against tether uh well it's us dollar in it really pegged and you know we can see some downward momentum coming on the stochastic rsi so you know it's weird because this says that it should be coming down and maybe taking a little correction and you know with the stochastic rsi what i like about this is that you know it's super clean super simple whenever the, whenever you see the red line cross the blue line like you see here you usually see price action come down and it shows that price for uh, the stochastic falling down and it measures up to the top of this price all falling down right and you know you can see it here as well look, in these ones here when the red crosses the blue price falls down uh, sorry the stochastic rsi falls down and price falls down and it usually holds holds true every single time you see this but it also works the same way when you see the blue cross the red line look so when it's down here and it's in this oversold area because this whole purplish bluish area and you've got like the, the black line with the dots above see the dots and the black up here that's oversold it means it's you know it's just completely oversold underneath is uh, you know, over sorry <laughs> oversold at the top is overbought so people are just buying like crazy it's overbought underneath is oversold there you go now when you see the blue line cross this red line at the bottom come up you see prices start to rise usually okay and you know in the past it's usually held true because you know back here you measure it up to here going forward you see the prices start to rise and you can see it going forward right but you know i'm just paying attention to this because if this does come down and we start to see because you know the red has crossed the blue and it starts to come down we may see prices fall like this uh this one here you know the top here prices fall but i just want to open your eyes to um what happened recently in the last massive sort of like v-shaped drop that we had let me see if i can find it because uh, i saw something similar uh was this it no it was back in march let me see if i can oh no this is it march here so this was the last drop that we had right and you know if we look back before it happened just before i know you can see this here if you look back before it happened you know it had a cross and it came down and then it, it kind of bounced back up and came down this is what i've been looking for here because if it does come down it could be a good buy opportunity i'm just saying okay now i expect that the bitcoin price is gonna obviously take the rest of the market with it if it comes down like this into these lows here and we see you know this sort of action here i would treat it as a good buy opportunity um and obviously once it goes back up you can see that momentum may start moving backwards uh, upwards and forwards but let's just take a look at the fibonacci retracement because that for me is going to tell us you know what kind of prices we can see going forward and again i'm just going to you know take it right back to march when we saw that disgusting drop because of the, the whole virus thing uh, let me just grab a uh, fibonacci here we go and i'm going to draw this from the top of the highs that it's had so far right down to i don't know, let me just stretch it out a bit more here i'm basically trying to draw it down here for march uh, when we saw that big drop right up until the highs that we have now and we can take a good look at what's going on with this uh chart right with harmony sorry harmony <laughs> keep saying harmony holo chain how many times how many times have i said harmony in this video i don't even know <laughs> it's because they both start with a huh you see uh let's just take a quick look here so like i said waiting for this resistance to break if it does could be riding it up you can see here right let me just move this up a weenie here we go so we had some uh resistance here trying to break out of this whole red zone underneath and it came above and you know you can see up here it's been uh, well i want to say held support here but it's not really any green well in this green area we've got confluence right and as you can see here it's you know been holding support down here off this red line and in, in this green box um but yeah if we was to break this yellow line I would expect us to go to here first which is this retracement level here you're looking at uh it says 0 0.012 so a cent maybe just up, up, up above a cent and you know if it's going to ride it upwards and it's going to continue its momentum i would look at all these lines here this one here uh this blue line here these are the prices i'll be looking for so one cent uh you know going up to two cents that's the sort of price that i'd be paying attention to 
what can we see in the long term if it was to go up high? Because if you ever look at this whole Fibonacci color, you know, we can drag it right up. We're still seeing lots of color all the way up here. This shows us what kind of prices we could see in the near future, maybe. I don't know what, a couple of months, maybe. I don't know, because I'm looking, you know, it's going to take time to, to do what it needs to do. I'm looking down here, August. Uh, if it was to carry on that upwards momentum, you could see prices as high as here. And this is, and I know it sounds mad, right? Because you're seeing it less than a penny now. You're talking 12 cents, maybe almost 13 cents. That's that's an absolute insane gain if it was to do that. But that's the highs that I would be looking at. And if you want to get a pen and paper or a notepad or your phone and drop this price here, you know, 12, 12 cents, 12, almost 13 cents, that could be a good price target to be thinking about taking profits. Not investment advice, just print it out there to you, right? Uh, but if we was to fall down and break this red line, you know, I can't, <laughs> it's mad, because I can't see much retracement down below. Um, obviously, unless you draw it the other way, uh, the other, way, I was going to say wound, <laughs> like off that, I thought that's a rabbit. <laughs> I can't stop. Uh, hold on a minute. What's going on here? This has moved my um, whole Fibonacci area here. Hold on a minute. Let me just uh, bring this back down because I tried to bloody measure it up, right? Hold on, let me bring this down. Hold on. Let's have a look. Here we go. This is going to change things uh, slightly. Let me just have a look. Oh, no. Still similar with the highs. Yep. That's cool. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, because I can't see much lower position because, you know, red is like right down here. The way to do this is you can actually draw the Fibonacci in reverse. Sometimes people do that just to get a glimpse of what kind of uh, prices you can see on the, uh, on the reverse um, coming downwards. Let me just uh, zoom this out a bit and see what we can see. Um, wow. <laughs> it still looks like a significant drop if it was to come down. Um, uh, oh, okay, look, here's, here's what we can do, you know. We might hold support here off this blue line here, and this could be a price to look at uh, when, obviously, if you, I don't know if you're trading this or if you're holding it or thinking about when to buy, this would be a, a, an area that I would consider looking at where there may be support for Holochain uh, of this blue line here, 007. So it's not that much of a big drop. We might hold support here. If it breaks this, then we'll have to update this video again as time goes on. Uh, because you can see you had some support here for what the wicks were being brought up here, right down here. Um, so, you know, that could be another support level. I don't know. Time will tell. We'll soon find out. Um, but, yeah, I'm just putting it on your radar, showing you. Look, I'm not the best at technical analysis, but I'm good at what I, I'm good enough to know what I know and just wanted to share it with you and yeah, share my thoughts. But um, let me know what you think. What do you think is going to happen with Holo? Because right now, the market is definitely gearing up for something big. And, you know, I'm, I'm paying attention to the Bitcoin chart. Uh, let me just grab up Bitcoin because obviously whatever Bitcoin does, it's going to drag the rest of the market with it. And, you know, it is in this tight box. And I think that if Bitcoin can rise above, you know, time will tell if it can rise above and break out, we could see prices all rise with it. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to obviously put that on your radar and keep you up to date with Holochain. I'm going to leave it here. If it was helpful to you, please drop that like. Give me a subscribe if you're watching. Thank you all for watching. I hope it was helpful to you. And yeah, um, if you're new and you want to become a patron, you're welcome to do so. I have seven tiers. Take your pick. Uh, I recommend my buy, sell, stake alert so you don't miss nothing, but it's entirely up to you. These guys are seeing things that you don't see right now. Things like teaching them simple technical analysis, how to you know buy and sell at the top, at the bottom, things like that. All these important things, when to take profits because you don't want it to fall on your face again because you know it's happened before. And you know if you're not prepared, you just want to be prepared for it. You know for the real drop because that that for me was just like a consolidation phase. Uh, you know, a, a normal healthy correct. I say healthy correction, <laughs> but there will be a bear market. And if you don't have a strategy, then you know now's a good time to figure out your strategies. And you know, I'm helping people do that. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Shout out to my patrons. I've got to do this long name list. You best believe because they keep coming through on platform nine and three quarters. Some through Diagon Alley. <laughs> Diagon, yeah, Diagon Alley, yeah. I see them, and I see you guys here in these tears. Thank you so, so much. Truly appreciate you all. Are you ready for this long list? Okay. Shout out to <laughs> Mr. T West, Toyon Ottery, Glenda, It's Time, Cora Black, Marco Costanti, Michael, AJ, Frank C63, Clarence Dennison, Christopher Johnson, Jacob Adams, Mr. Anonymous, Stuart Chuckler, Lewis Wilkes, Latasha F, Carlos Rocha, Mr. Tuff, Rocha, yeah, Mr. Tuffu, Dam, hold on, Damaris, Samus Stancox, Rahul the God, 
Dante Kennedy, RG Bizzle, Max, Ke- hold on, Wisdom, Marcelo Trevino, Redax Robinson. Listen, some people left out Hogwarts Express and coming back on, you know, I can't keep changing the names. Where am I? Uh, Redax Robinson, Manny Sanchez, Catherine Chung, Ty- Tyron Samuel, Stephen Edward, Abiola, Rachel Mack, Pamela Will. Tongue twist, I ain't cutting it. Keeping it wrong, fresh and organic like Tesco's. Pamela Williams, Saxon Rax, Joff, Joff, <laughs> Rick, Joffrey Williamson. I'm trying to skip myself now. Omar Thomas, Casper Nell, Aaron Davis, CCP269. Why ain't this scrolling down? Uh, Good feels nice. Albert Lynn, Dominic, uh, Will W, Peter Stoddard, Belinda Spencer, Eric Foreman, Semyon, Fatima Price, Shonda Owens, Tana McLaren, Josh Wills, Marcel SSK, Kevin Ward, Sassavi, Michael Keel, Christopher Hoss, Chris C, Peter Mosa, Snowy, D. Swearing, Andrew Harden, Eric, Kelvin, William Fox, S. Jar, Claudette Hormiliosa, like Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Just put that in there, you know. Cl- uh, I've already said that. <laughs> Shakir Hussain, Jeff Tonchich, Paul Lamaru, Lamar Lee Seeley, Cody Harris, S, Daniel Hopkins, Cyril, Alexander Ofori, Gilbert, Gilbert Baggins, Stefan, Eric Jackson, Paul Forrest, Benson Hum, Powell, Russell Cohan, Joseph Marcus, Joshua Mingluna. No, I said it right. I usually get the names mixed up. Crypto Mac, Andrew Queen, Give Me the Games, Renex, West AM, Ali, Mo C, Fiat Jackson, Mike V, Joanna Malfavero, Oric M, J Fave, Terry JC, Oli, Elton Rosario, Orville Broomfield, and hold on, hold on. Frank Essa, NASA. Ignacio, just just shape up your head with that, you know. <laughs> I don't know, got some kind of scissors. I don't know. What am I talking about? Because I, <laughs> I thought about the blade. Just <laughs> anyway. <laughs> G Crypto Lumen Seven, Chris Chico, NM that man. It just sounds like Harry Potter spell, innit? NM that man, Francis Locker, Zach Cadden, Mansour, Kieran Phoenix, Jem de Jaguar, Mark, Marcus Gittery, Robert Loss, Exelios. Just <laughs> mash up your head, you know. Stony Mac, John Lowe, Ken Marold, Ranjo Singh, Raffle Cooper, Aiden. Educate a courage. <laughs> Just spin you around a little. <laughs> These, I swear to you, the, your names look like spells from Harry Potter. Luke Ainsworth, Mr. Do Right, Anthony Berry, TRG Investments, Brenko De Vasilic, Marky Cersei. Hello. Ryan Williams, Ryan. Hold on. Ryan Orange. I've got your names mixed up. Toucan. Because there's two Ryan. Santino, Rafa Sane, Joel, Joel, I think it's Joel. Crazy Jam, Timothy J. Brusky, uh, Renee, Chris, UKMC, No Name, Jack Slater, Pablo, Bradley Kim, Lena 111. What? I've got to scroll up. Let's see. <laughs> got me to the bottom already. Uh, crypto, hold on. Sunny V, Crypto One, Ross Martini, Hanny Abu, Ricardo Vinegas. Vinegas? Yeah. Shinadu, Oscar Vilgas, Crypto Moon, Nightman 911 is new to you. Jackson Tepper, Francis Hernandez, Akbar, Jermaine Allen, David Adeniji, Chiquita, Chiquita, sorry. John Sandoval, Aaron Silo, Chris McClendon, Optimus Poonpage, Edgar Cortez, Angel, Ramil TV, Kirsten, Mr. Drew, yeah, yeah, SNCCC, Malin Daddy Albus, Sander Kampong, Joshua Asher, Darnell D, Black A, Bob Rust, Eloy, Mickey, Mikey, so I keep getting your name wrong, User X2019, Blackstar, Chillers Creations, Akis Voldorus, <laughs> I swear to you, these names, I swear they sound like ever. anyway, uh, Abid Hussain, Moises D. Lopez, Michael, Joseph Samara, Neona London, Chris Tap Dancers, Iris, Jack Bliss, Montreal. I told you there was loads. I told I'm still going. I think I'm halfway. Montreal Amon, Joey J, Raj T, Liesel, Brian Reedy, Islam, Tari, Cornell Goodman, Matthew Walker, Carlos Porta, Sapin Singh, Dennis Booneman, Alessandro Benini, Mark Peak, Elliot Shearer, Royal ID, Teddy Barrel. Wow, I'm still going. Hassan P. Makug- Makuga. Is that right? Makuga? Makuga? Yeah. Gordon McCulloch, Monica Matteo, Adam Allen, Ralph Green, Marcus Dunbar, uh, Johnny Matthews, Michael James, Arted, Moisters Gallery, Mrs. Carla V. Hello. Rizwan, A. Kings, big up. Ice Cat Trader, Davidus Nomentus. Yeah, that's the one that make you go invisible, isn't it? <laughs> Turn around quick. Davidus Nomentus. <laughs> I'll just see it. Uh, Connie. <laughs> I love it. They, they better bring out a new Harry Potter film because you know that game's coming on PS5 soon, isn't it? A. Alamu, A. Alamu, you know, just, I don't know, make something fly away or something. Williamson Johnson, Anthony Donne, Karen Danik, Kimberly Ge- uh, Gearman, All for One, and One for All, Cil- Cylinder Tashima, Stefan, Coin Age, and I'm just shouting down my phone, uh, not my phone, <laughs> my mic, <laughs> put my phone in my hand. Adrian Alanda, PC World. <clears throat> Let me do it again. PC World, nigga. Because uh, PC. Marky27, Dave, Chris Adlam, Crypto Newbie, Thomas Rodriguez, Golden Bags, Slow Measy, Noel21. I remember it used to end there. And I'm still going. Trevor Dawson, Jude Tam, Thierry, Joe Youssef, Chucks Anderson, Splurge Ultra, Arif Joy, Kevin Rodriguez, Danny, Danny Rich, Elstein. Is that right? Tefed Swan, Memphis Demphers, Carnivore 444, Morgan Culver, Joe, Kalpashkumar. Josh, nope, <laughs> just make up your name, you know, Jack Sutton, Alexis, Alexis Pagan, Seraf X, I think that's right, Kevin V, Crypto Hustle, Anish Patel, Dean, Aaron, Nova, Mohammed Imran, 
and Chris Jane. <laughs> are you still sitting here? If you are, please drop a like, because I promise you there's still more to go. I told you these guys came through on Diagon Alley. Uh, where am I? Corey, Mario L, Vanessa Small, Elijah Aylendy, I think that's right. Let me know, Aylend. Ni Nika Onyu, Moinu Hussain, Andrew Lara. Hold on. Andrew Laramie, there you go. Nadine Jordan, Eddie Laforme, Tony B, D Wills, Riyad Midicasso, Mandy Nguyen, Hashimatala, Michael Ruddy, Will Brooks, <laughs> I'm still seeing it. Josh, John Wesley, Sura, Sura Rashid, Eamon Deep Whaler, Masik Soul. Listen, I gotta go it down again. Masik Soul, Master J, Daniel Brand, Leon Plast, DG Crypto, Adam uh, Istvan, uh, Theodore Wheaton, LD, Vincent Millet, uh, Mauricio, I think that's right, A Noop. Uh, N, Rev Rav, Steve Hayar, A <laughs> I can't believe I'm still calling your names, A, um, a Man, A Man Rizvi, Riz listen that's how long it's been I called your name, <laughs> J Janetta, Legend Charles Knight, Asa Jones, Gabriel Vince McDowell, I think that's right, uh, Duns River, Carrie, Gilbo Blaggins, I'm sure there was a, I'm sure, <sighs> Jack Ro Jake Ross. Is there two of them? I don't know. Is that like a special name or saying? Jake Ross, Cookie Crumbs, Cookie. <laughs> Can't help it. Christian Lee, Philip Philip Staffa. Okay, this one's hard. Oise Oiseanatio, Chamjello, Find Me Now, Crypt, Crypt Dive, Cl Klondike Penny Feather, Maha Ramadan, Fears Ahead. Oh, I'm slowing down now. Fears Ahead, Brandon Tedx. Big up to you, man. Jim Harsha, uh, Bent Henson, Dan. Dan <laughs> names daniel grigu i think that's right idol piper shari t shari t zostek uh, dishana vation mustafa skylark all tight dj skylark we're in a place for the dj sky <laughs> listen big up to you i know who you are uh liz reed l bengrad mike van tilburg the a team slash something else i can't see the full name uh jacob madaris no yeah madaris let me know uh landlord morrison nichols do it is that right do it Dave Catho, Richard Harmer, Kyle Dawson, Dennis, JP De Deleen. I think that's right. Let me know. V Flash, Michael Catlett. Catlett, yeah. Joey Shawns, Akeem Banks, Michelle Van Den Acker. What's going on? Uh, Rosemary Henson, Justin Levin. Listen, I don't mean to slow down, but there's too many of you. I'm almost there, though, I promise. If you're still here, drop another like. Justin Levin, Via, via Financial, uh, Raycorn. I think that's right. Rush Paul Sandhu. Okay, here we go. Newish names ish. I can't remember. Mr. Pauniti. Massey. Uh, Tonye Adikibi. Uh, Seer Coins. Brandon. James Richards. Laurent Corvillain. 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 There you go. Kasha Smith. Soul Seeker. Like, what's going on, my thing? Why aren't it scrolling down? Uh, here we go. Where am I? Theodis. Rossi D. Paulo Baptista. Yeah. Renton Baco. Kevin Chack. Hold on, Inigo Zubieri, I think that's it, Zubieri, let me know, uh, Stefan Grunfeld, yeah, because it's like German, isn't it, I think it's German anyway, let me know, I'm not sure, RGC, Visual, Lee Goodwin, Jiba, yeah, Kevin Konitsky, yep, Matthew Wan, Tristan Miles, hold on, I'm almost there, John Hung, Saif Rahman, I knew a Saif, back in Portsmouth, you don't, I don't, is that you, let me know, May Reve Revel, May Revel, Laurie Littrop, Alicia, uh, Abagas and okay, is this Gima Wambugu? Wambugu? Let me know. Whoa, what a name call list! That's mad, crazy, ludicrous. But you had me sitting there for about ten minutes. I see you all. Thank you so much. And <laughs> if you were still here, if you're still here, they became patrons because they see things you don't see. You know, I help them. They see my buy sell stake alerts. And yeah, if you are someone that's just unsure. And when to take profits and stuff, become a patron. Seven tiers, take your pick. I recommend my buy sell stake alerts, you know, because this crypto market's gonna fall on your face again. Proper, like we go. Well, I still think we're in the bull market, but it's gonna fall on your face again at some point. And you know, these guys are gonna know when I'm taking profits, and I'm gonna try and aim for the highest point. And I'm teaching them how to know when to take it at the top. You best believe, because they're seeing videos that you're not seeing. So if you want to see them, make sure you become in the uh, buy alert tier or higher. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers.